We're joined by sophomore linebacker Jason Cabinda. Jason, it's always a big week when you have a night game in Beaver Stadium. What's Absolutely. fun about that opportunity to get under the lights, get on that field and play on Saturday nights? I mean, for us, it's, it's getting the family all back together. And I mean, it being a night game, you know the atmosphere is going to be absolutely wild. I mean, our fans are, are just coming from all over the place to come, you know, see us play. And we're, we're, we're really thankful for that. Um, it's going to be a stripe out this week, uh, and that's a new deal. So we're, we're really excited about that, too. Uh, kind of interesting to see how it's going to look and how it's going to turn out. Um, but I, I think it's going to look really good and pretty clean. A ton of students are camping outside Gate A already. They started last night. Let's say you're not on the football team. Yeah. You're camping out in a tent. What are your essentials? What do you need to bring to make sure that you keep yourself occupied? Oh, man, I would need a ton of stuff. <laughs> I mean, sheesh. Besides my phone and my iPad, I mean, I, I need to play games, cards. I mean, that's hard. And I think that the whole the Nittanyville, you know, that organization there, I, I think that says so much about our fans. And we have people who are willing to camp out and sleep in tents all week long just getting in pre preparation for the game. I mean, if that doesn't say a whole bunch about the kind of fans and dedication that we have, I mean, it's absolutely amazing what they do. The linebacker core, a ton of new guys. You have a veteran in Vaughn Walker played on Saturday. What can you say about the group and how well you guys played? Uh, I mean, I think we're doing a really good job, and I think uh, especially this past week what we cleaned up the most was the, was the communication and uh, being able to make sure the defense was on, on the same page at all times, even when offenses were giving us tempo. But I think in terms of the linebacker group, I think Troy has done a really good job, you know, echoing calls, and, and that's a guy who, who's really worked his butt off and, and really earned this opportunity um, from the weight room, you know, winter workouts through summer workouts. He's done a really good job. Then you have Vaughn, who, who's also captain on this team, so his character and kind of what he does, and I think not enough people know his story of, of being a walk-on and then earning a scholarship. I mean, that's, that's something you don't see every day in college football. So a guy like Vaughn, who, who in terms of the character, really embodies what linebacker U is about. Then you got the young guys, you know, Manny and um, Jay Cooper. We're also we're trying to get them to come along, you know, as much as possible. Those guys are also very hard workers. And you have guys like Ben Klein, who, who's up for the Rhodes Scholar. And, good citizenship award, all these things. I mean, we have really high character guys. And I think, um, you know, Coach Pry, I think he values that more than, than anything about what you put on the field is really what kind of guy you are. And I think uh, our room in terms of characters is very, very good. When you look at the guys in front of you, the way they're playing, not just the starters, but that whole rotation of D-line, but specifically Carl Nassib, I mean, you see how much work he puts into what he wants to do, but yeah, how much fun is he to watch play? Oh, I mean, he, he's really coming into his own. And I think, through preseason and, and even spring ball, I think everybody knew it was coming. Um, Carl, Carl's been playing so well, you know, as a late, and he's been so disruptive and, and just living in uh, opponents' backfields. And I mean, between the sacks and he now has an interception, I mean, he's doing so many things. And just the D-line in general, I think they've done a really good job of being disruptive. I think we have really good depth there now, especially with guys like Antoine, who, who's a retro freshman, who's not playing this year. I mean, they're all doing a really good job. And, and Carl's another guy, just like Vaughn Walker, who's able to earn a scholarship being from a walk-on position. So, I mean, that, that, that's an testament to the, to the amount of work he's put into this and, and kind of what kind of sacrifice he's made for Penn State football. Looking ahead to Saturday, you have an opportunity to play a team that you're probably familiar with, Rutgers being from New Jersey, yep. also Big Ten opener. Are you looking absolutely. forward to Saturday? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and it, it's obviously a bit more special for me and, you know, the Jersey guys, being that it's Rutgers. Uh, that's kind of our home university, our home state university. So um, it's going to be a big one, definitely. Um, it being a Big Ten opener as well, you know, we want to start off on the right foot in the Big Ten. Um, so definitely looking for a win this week. Thanks for your time, Jason. Good Thank luck. Thank you. Appreciate it.